Um, in this video, so this is the hyperbola. No? So, la, a general formula for a hyperbola is uh, y equals to a over x minus p plus q. And then, this is also number asymptote x and y intercept. Uh, x is of symmetry, then this is a sketchy graph. And then, uh, so when the uh, problem where we are given a graph, and then we have to uh, add some equations or find the equation of that particular graph. Yeah, a lot of values of the hyperbola. And then, so for the domain range, uh, increase, you know, decrease. Now, you know, if the graph is reflected, it affects the affect equation, it affects the graph. So, um, let's get to it. So let's say now we have f at x equals to x <coughs> uh, 3 over uh, x minus 1 and plus 2. Right. So I'm an asymptote. If they am an asymptote P no Q. So I'm an asymptote we have E graph la uh, if you look at A if it's greater than zero. Who greater than zero means positive, right? So if A is positive. Because we see must draw the hyperbola, so we draw quadrant one and quadrant three. If the value of a is negative, above less than zero, because we see lambda is draw, so we draw quadrant two and quadrant four. So I'm asking to see lambda is graph of I think the group. So learn again. I'm asking my equation. I'm asking to show you two. I'm going to use the blue one. Whose over x is equals to one. And y is equals to 2. Okay, la o x is a general equation, you know, minus. So, because we have to go and get, we have to go and minus, but because we have to go and get a PO1. So, every time we have to go and get a x asymptote, a vertical asymptote, we have to change the sign of the number. So, we have to go positive, we have to go and get it. Since we have to go and get it, we have to go positive. Y in Tata Jemova in Jan. So I'm an equation of asymptote. X is equal to 1, Y is equal to 2. So this is a vertical asymptote cause a kaya coma x axis. The horizontal cause a kaya coma y. Right. So this is for the x intercept and y intercept. So for, for y intercept, we know root the equation and we make ubani x root table 0 plus 2. So, because we see that over no value, 3 over minus 1, it's minus 3 plus 2, it's over minus 1. Should see y intercept, it's 0 with minus 1. x intercept, we make y 0, so that 0 equals to 3 over x minus 1 and plus 2. Then start to 2 at Chapai Nani, it's over minus 2 equals to 3 over x minus 1. Then we cross multiply, beyond the end, your time to minus 2. So we know minus 2 level we know x minus 1, which is equal to 3. Then line again, again we multiply in or the divider go by go minus 2. What does multiply parity? Lona lona plus 2 get equals to 3. Get. Minus 2 x large by line. So we 3 minus 2 follow no one. Divide by minus 2, divide by minus 2, x is equal to minus 1 over 2. So I'm a coordinate a x intercept whose over negative one over two makes zero. Mm -hmm. Right. So since we told you y intercept, so I told you the x intercept. Yeah, for another reason that we make y zero, we make x zero, then you solve. Um, <clears throat> x is of symmetry. This is of we have x is of symmetry. Let's go to the sketch. Um, since u three u positive, because the graph is going to be on the first and the third quadrant. So I think we should say in there. Now you can see them playing in two. And this is a plot of asymptote. X is equal to one. So these are x axis, y axis. See, I want x axis. See, I want y. Now I want y. See, I draw a little bit in the asymptote here too. See, I want y axis. See, I want two. I want one, two. Now I want two again. I draw the inner So, see, draw quadrant one and three. See, I'm going to have a quadrant one and see. Because I need a graph, it balagay asymptote. It does not touch the asymptote. But I balagay cut it and play. 
So lie about when the peace vele and he saw the end of the journey, it is the cases and claim because if I lay as in truth, lay up as a book with his overlap. Go to a man just sent his or crosser who cut his and claim who made the Sifagama coordinates where he crossed the poison crosser corner. So zero map minus one. Now zero map minus one lapa minus half map zero. Now one lapa now minus half map zero. So the graph is so hamba in the range. So say the plot is like graph. Right. So now let's go from domain and range. So you need to know some sort of size sketcher. So it's with domain and range. The domain, the graph, the graph, the color of the left, the domain, the graph, the color of the hand is your pen and the hand. So now draw a vertical line. They are told in the graph. Yes, the corn, the corn, the corn, the corn. Now, as in short, the graph is equal. Now, as in short, the corn, the corn, the corn. So the graph is equal to the corn. So we should cover it until positive infinity. Now, now, if we go, if 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 we go, we should be able to go to negative infinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We pull it up one. One. We pull it up one. Yeah, yeah. So, as we pull it up, we can say the domain. The domain is x. X is an element of negative infinity is to one. Now we cross the corner from negative infinity. If parallel one, we see a parallel one here. We see to the end one is to positive infinity. So we, if any of them be parallel to them, we can say the graph, the corner go on gamma x values, cause go minus one the corner, go minus five the corner. But the only x value that for corner the graph in the corner, it is where x is equal to one. So any little parallel, you can just say it domain x is an element of all real numbers, but x but x should not equal to one. So it's up to you to the domain we parallel parallel, no we parallel parallel. Go to row two, section three one. Let's go for a range. Range. The range is because the graphic color is part. We have all the pieces. We have our own way. So the graphic color from negative infinity. The couple, the couple, the graphic corner, corner, corner. La, pagu wa yu ngana no tui graphic eko. Abagu wa yu ngana no tui graphic corner, corner, corner until positive infinity. Meaning with the range, you will find the graph from negative infinity until two, and then. After two, you call the graph until positive infinity. So that is over two until positive infinity. But for the parallel, so let's say y is an element of or oh, or oh, la. Let's find y is an element of la. That's over y is an element of all real numbers. But y abumela na ni manenova ni two. So always, 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 it domain a hyperbola. It is always from negative infinity to vertical asymptote. Then from vertical asymptote to uh, to positive infinity. It range is from negative infinity to uh, to what to the horizontal asymptote, and then from the from the from the horizontal asymptote to what to positive infinity. Right. So let's say we are given y equals to minus three over x plus four minus two, and then it as it draw one graph, that goes with it. What is the domain? So you know what the domain? It should be from negative infinity to negative four. I need to remember this is the this is the vertical asymptote, and then. From negative four to positive infinity. What is the range? The range will be from negative infinity, right? Negative infinity to minus two, and then from minus two to positive infinity, right? Okay. Since we say the law, since it's only the law, it's domain range. It can increase up, it can decrease up. 
e hyperbola eh, I, I, I call a parabola ne? parabola e a increase base stationary point and then decrease hyperbola e a increase it's either e a increase i yonke or e a decrease i yonke so ma si pega no? le graph is decreasing e bona la it's decreasing if e me so e bole it's increasing because whenever we read the graph we read it from left to right e bona la it's increasing so i have it's increasing so i have it's increasing then so i have it's decreasing so i have it's decreasing right so the graph here to them it's decreasing not increasing right so now we have a reflection and we have a shift right the reflection and shift care um so rapala but when we said them we're going to start to low 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 let's say that f is reflected about the y axis to form a g at x this is what i write down g write down the equation of g when the range i mean if it's reflected across or about ama y axis we change the sign ka x so meaning the new graph of g will be 3 over because it's reflected across on my y axis cuz over no minus x we have no minus 1 lapha over no plus 2 so a reflection in that but let's say f was reflected right across on my x axis x axis it is over the graph and it is of g at x equals to and then negative 3 over x minus 1 and then plus 2. Yeah, well, reflected across my y axis, now answer. Reflected across my x axis, now the answer. This is a simplifier. Yeah, well, luang in power to minus 3 over x minus 1, luang in the lana, zobo minus 2. So your reflection here in the hand. Shift. It shift let's say but imagine the graph of f over there is a new graph which is h a new graph leo e graph ka, ka f m kanji yeah question is what imagine write down the equation of h u h ungu f on a shift shift na a shift so let's say that we know to h and f. Where is f? Now f lab. So f, magunno x, magunno x. So man, so magunno x plus two. So trust me, conke equation that f. Where there is x, as we say, for x, we say for x plus two. Right. So trust me, that was over. Three over. X plus two students are x minus one over minus one plus two over plus two and then it's the name is city plus three. So this is a vertical shift. See if I like the name, it affects y. Magula go bracket or affect x. Then must say see simplify the three over x plus one plus five. So this is the new graph. Right. X is of symmetry. Axis of symmetry and so sulaila axis of symmetry. So so a pause and a rewind mouth one look as if it's for you. If the question is to calculate the axis of symmetry or find the axis of symmetry, there are always two axes of symmetry. Axis of symmetry, ulaino hambala. So this is a straight line. Then ulaino hambala. Lo la ini agune intersection ya wopi nara pe ikla nana kuna ini ama asymptote. So axis of symmetry go go hyperbola out two. Ne? Ama la ina shuga ni si graph paradmin dao. So na hyperbola. Ewo 
Je sais si j'ai un peu pour là. Et mélange. Right. And then. Le en y mélange. Et si vous me trouvez que le mélange, le line est au cahier là. Au cahier là. Right. So, these two lines are both straight lines. Ne? So, the gradient of the line is positive because of the line of the gradient of the line is negative. So, how do we find the axis of symmetry or the line of symmetry? Right. Since we said, look, so there are two ways to find the axis of symmetry. The first one, Tata le potion le. Tata le potion le. Oh yes, we can the equation. So this is y. Y is equal to minus x um, x minus 1 plus 2. So you simplify it, x plus 1. So the book is starting the passing apart. So this is the first equation of the axis of symmetry. We need to tell two. Call it a positive gradient, which is this one. Call it a negative gradient. So you tell the nigga in a negative gradient. Uh, here, nah? See, Tata put in the same part, but the denominator of the same minus 1. Shoot it over y equals to minus. Then we get up bracket, then we have to go to plus 2. So, start the same thing, but the same thing, we have to go minus. So, log of minus x, go to plus 1, go to plus 2. So, minus x plus 3. So, that's our equation. Yes, to where I need the axis of symmetry. So the question my poem is on say find the axis of symmetry. You know who we'll specify them? Yeah? It's to find the axis of symmetry with a negative gradient. So when turn over to our axis of symmetry and then learn in the negative gradient, then the whole bala le is your answer. So this is this is how you find the axis of symmetry. And in the total axis of symmetry, the equation y is equal to minus x plus c. Any equation y is equal to x plus c. Yeah? So since this are straight lines, it's short of c. Now let me sort of c. So with a total sigmatization, if you have a straight, if, if you if you are required to find a, a, a the straight line for a, a um, equation, also the only one we turn around and we know unknown. We substitute the coordinate. We have a coordinate lab. The coordinate lab uh, is 1, make 2. The lab point is a point of intersection of the asymptote. And it is also the point of intersection of um, axis of symmetries. Yeah? So, man, we have a coordinate. Because if you want to find an equation, we may substitute the coordinates, a linear equation, right? So imagine so that's one and two, some five and two la, then lags over minus, so the answer x is five one plus c, large and five and lags over three, c is equal to three. So therefore, equation y is equal to minus x plus three, which is the same as this one. Above, then up and a coin of the substitute of two la, the substitute one la plus c, one large and five and lags c is equal to 1, so therefore the equation is y is equal to x plus 1, which is the other So it's over up to you, to Choose IP. Choose a len, normal, or choose a len alpha to find the axis of symmetry. No. So this is always a, a, a problem uh, from the previous question paper. Then it's one of the things you might have a question in my mind.